Okay, so um, I didn't really do the tear down, but there's videos on YouTube to do it. So I just simply slip this bad boy back on, hook it back here. Just be careful. Now that I put that on there, I just tighten everything up. So remember, this thing just hooks on here. It's up to you if you want to take out the screws. I the less screws I take off, the better. And then the cover is gonna go back here. Before you reattach this, make sure that you connect that connector there. Then you reattach this. Again, I didn't take off all the screws, so this thing hooks on there. Okay, hooks on there. Tighten those back up, um, and you can put those screws back on right there. I had to take the ice maker off to get to that uh, screw right there. So I'm gonna reattach the ice maker right now. And if you ever need to replace your ice maker, it's just one hex nut right here. Or well, actually a bolt and tighten that up. This reattaches there, plain and simple. And by the way, my lovely side-by-side, -side, I have replaced that one time back in 2018. Once you tighten this too, make sure you tighten that ice maker thing and re-tighten those back there. Reconnect your uh, ice maker connector there. It only goes in one way so you won't miss out. Now you can install the auger for the ice, make, the ice dispenser. Correction, correction. That, the ice maker does not connect there. The auger connects there. And the ice maker connects here. Sorry about that. I will show you right now. This connector goes right there. And the ice maker connector goes on top here. All right. So once you reconnect that, make sure that you don't turn this or the other end of the ice uh, tray. Because that's going to connect right here to spin it. So that it can dispense ice for you. Now we can move on to the step of reinstalling the cover for the evaporator coils before I reinstall this um, just letting you guys know this heating element the defrost heating element is usually one of the biggest culprits of these free freezer side-by-sides um, I've changed this I've changed this numerous times probably five times already and every time I change it I always change the bimetal thermistor and the regular white thermistor right there so I'm not going to do it this time, but don't forget to reattach this ground clip to the cover of this. Once you put the cover back on, install your bulb. Um, I usually put the cover on last, but moment of truth.